Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports did something historic yesterday on this game in FIFA 23. The SBC that they dropped was not expected whatsoever. And of course, we're talking about the flashback Jorginho. I want to break that SBC down and why it came late yesterday. But of course, we have to talk about that loading screen that you saw as well. Future stars coming on Friday. No surprise, we already have the swaps rewards. But a loading screen yesterday was not really expected to be that early. I'm curious to see how the loading screen maybe is updated today on Wednesday, tomorrow on Thursday, heading into the new promo starting on Friday. And then we have to keep covering the swaps rewards because first two days of these swaps being out, three tokens each day. We are up to six tokens right now. We might all be able to have 84 20s by the time this promo starts on Friday at this rate if EA keep dropping these tokens as fast as they are. And of course, yesterday was another day of packs and another day where the market just stayed very high. High enough, in fact, and prices rose up even further that some cards are even going extinct on the market like this Trent Alexander-Arnold Centurions card is now extinct. We need some price range update. The market is up so high. We need some of those updates. So we're going to cover what to expect today on FIFA on a Wednesday with a new team of the week incoming and a lot of other content refreshing again today. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's first talk about this big SBC player. This is the guy that everybody's talking about right now in this game. Jorginho with the surprise transfer from Chelsea to Arsenal yesterday. The Fabrizio here we go hit and he EA didn't release this SBC at 6 p.m. UK yesterday. What they literally did, I think this is what they honestly did, guys, is take a look at the timing of when this SBC is dropped, right? This SBC was dropped three hours after content on the dot. When did Arsenal tweet out that Jorginho, officially announcing Jorginho was an Arsenal player? About two hours and 19 minutes after the drop, right? So I think EA was literally waiting to drop this SBC until Arsenal tweeted announcing the player officially at their club. And now we have an Arsenal Jorginho in FIFA. This is not this was not expected at all. I didn't even expect EA to do this. The fastest turnaround ever on deadline day, switching him from Chelsea to Arsenal. Honestly, I know it made some of our investments because we invested in some of those Chelsea cards not go up in price and made Arsenal cards go up instead. But the fact that EA can do that on such a short time span is very cool. And also it raises the bar and the standard and it makes us kind of know what EA is capable of doing. I mean, guys, this Chelsea Jorginho card I packed yesterday during the time when the Arsenal Jorginho SBC was out. I packed the Chelsea Jorginho from an upgrade pack, right? So this card is still in packs, but yet they're able to drop an Arsenal version of Jorginho in the game. That's like, if EA is doing this, that's pretty big. That means that they should be able to do a lot more of this type of stuff. Not that there's people and players changing clubs this often, but they should be able to be switching players' clubs and their teams pretty fast, right? And, and maybe even um, around other transfer windows or just when they need to be switching clubs like this, especially with we saw with the World Cup cards this year, like switching stuff like that really, really fast, updating cards really fast in game, changing SBCs if they need to, changing stats if they need to. The fact that they can do that on the fly like they did yesterday is massive. So props to EA to be completely honest because that kind of made yesterday a bit extra hype because that was like a surprise transfer yesterday. Uh, so to see that it kind of take place in FIFA as well was really cool. Now with this card in general, 140,000 coins, cheapest flashback of team of the year. I think it's a solid card. Now I did the SBC already because I've been opening a lot of upgrade packs and have a lot of extra fodder, but I can't be mad about this when the upgrade is solid. It's good. It makes a non-usable card in this game usable. So that's great, right? We always love that. It's only 140,000 coins, which right now is so easy to do if you're doing any upgrade packs at all. So W here, right? I know this is not going to make into everybody's team, but this is a cool card, right? Even though it's not exactly quite linkable like we thought it was going to be, like I had invested in these Koulibaly's, right? I bought Koulibaly's at 415K on Sunday night yesterday. He was all the way up at 470. I was able to sell like right around here about 460, 465. And then he kept going down, of course, after the Jorginho was released as an Arsenal player, he went down. But of course, the opposite effect happened for your Arsenal players, right? Sokka's honorable mentions, other Sokka cards are up in price. Other Arsenal cards like the Gabriel Jesus Winter Wild Cards item. Uh, spiked, of course, 610k for Jesus. He was like 680 at one point. You can see the crazy spike right here. Yeah, he went from 560 to 680 and is now kind of back down. 
you know, there's more demand for these guys after this Jorginho SBC because it is so cheap. And this is an SBC that a lot of people will do again, because it's just good uh, because of the price and the nice upgrade that it is. And he's not a bad player in game, the nice four star weak foot boost and the high defensive work rates boost. So again, not an amazing card, but a fun one. And honestly, EA Sports, again, GG's, but also we see you doing this here. We, we know what you're doing. We saw what you did. So keep this up. Like we know this is possible from you in the, in the future, even though it's kind of funny, like obviously Jorginho's image right now is just him, his base, you know, stock image with the Chelsea kit on. So I'm sure they'll get that soon and updated, uh, updated pretty soon, but that is there. Of course, quick account update for you guys that haven't seen my team in a while. Yesterday, I finally packed a team of the year icon. I still have not packed a team of the year EA Sports. I'm still trying. I'm going to do a lot of 78 plus upgrades because those right now I believe are the best packs at the moment but from a 78 plus times three I was able to snag Pirlo yesterday which was a lot of fun and I've crafted just about every SBC besides Mbappe in this section uh, and Ramos Mbappe and Ramos I have not done but Javi Alonso I'm basically done with I just have to do the bronze and silver squad same thing with Hugo Sanchez uh, I finished Pogba I finished Richarlison even so Mane as well so I'm still doing 78 plus triple upgrades to try to pack a team of the year because I, I just I can't not go all out right I still have a million coins I'd like to spend I have right now around four million I just sold this Ronaldo at 599 I have about four million coins and that would be before I would sell all these informs for a profit if I were able to sell all these informs above you know 39 to 40 thousand coins I'd probably end up having about another million coins more since that would be doubling almost my money for what I put into them. So I'm I'm willing to spend more coins on upgrade packs. So if you're liking upgrade packs, if you're trying to defy the odds with me right now and pack a team of the year, come by the Twitch streams. We're opening these packs, basically the entire streams, uh, any packs and every packs we can get to try to get team of the years. They're so hard to pack, but that makes me try even harder. <laughs> nice duplicates. We love that. Uh, makes me even try harder to try to get them. Now, let's talk about swap tokens and what happened yesterday and what to expect today as well because I talked about that in the beginning of the video and EA dropped another set of three yesterday. First owner Fiesta, they dropped two tokens. Now, this is a tough one to go and do. You get nice rewards in here. If you can complete this whole objective of first owner Fiesta, GG's. You get an 82 times 10, the additional swap token, but you get all you have to do is win one game to get one swap token, but you have to win seven to uh, get the second one and complete all these objectives, complete the group to get the second token. The problem is this game mode, Homegrown 11, you only get 12 games per week and it is tough out there, right? It's gonna be sweaty, it's gonna be pretty tough because people, of course, know that it's a limited number of games for the whole entire week that this is available. And you know, this is hard from EA Sports, like EA, this is tough, honestly. Uh, probably one of the harder tokens to get for the most of the audience playing FIFA. Like you have to go above 500 in your games in this mode. Now, of course it's friendly. So there's an ELO. So if you're in like division eight, you'll probably be matching players around your skill level, which helps, but still that's a bit of a unfortunate for EA because they're making that token pretty tough to grind. And then of course we did get another token in the SBCs team of the year challenge number two. So now we are up to six tokens in total if you want to see the tracker i'll drop this link down below in the description of course so you can tag along and keep along with how this is going but like i said hey we're on six tokens right now we need 10 tokens for an 84 times 20 shoot if we get another three tokens today on wednesday or maybe it's even just two i mean if we get two more tokens after that on thursday we are looking at the potential of having maybe 10 tokens that would almost seem too good to have an 84 times 20 that you maybe would be able to open on the start of the future stars promo that would be pretty crazy but at the pace that we're going at we might get there so six tokens are available right now including the store token i think we might get more today especially in the terms of in the sense of gameplay objectives because wednesdays during winter wild cards we would get swap tokens as a part of silver stars and i would imagine today with another silver stars player as part of the team of the week most likely coming i do think we will get a silver stars token today so maybe a token in silver stars maybe an sbc that could be where we get our potential tokens today for the swaps program so watch out for that and of course 
if there's a token in Silver Stars, some of your most hyped silvers, your most meta silver cards on the market will probably start to rise in price. So if you want to check your clubs, get your silver squads ready. Guys like, I don't even know, Adam Armstrong. This is one guy I always think of when I think of a silver card that's really, really meta. This guy was like nine like nine to 10,000 coins the last time that um, the like tokens were in the silver stars mode. How much is Adam Armstrong right now? Is he like 5K? Is that what I just saw? Armstrong is 3.9K, right? So this guy could absolutely go back up to like eight, 9,000 coins if there's a token today in silver star. So watch out if you want to try to invest in some silvers, find some of those silvers that go up a lot. Keep an eye out for that. If EA drop a token in silver stars, those will definitely continue to go up. And also we have to talk about that loading screen, right? It's very simple loading screen, just shows the card design telling us the promo starts on Friday. I wasn't really expecting this though, to be completely honest. On a Tuesday loading screen start date, usually that means either they're not gonna update the loading screen today at all, and it's gonna stay the exact same, or they're going to start showing us like another card design on the load. I'm, I'm really not sure, guys, what's going to happen today. My guess is would be that the loading screen will just stay the same. And they're trying to ooh, voice crack. They're trying to um, kind of continue the hype from team of the year into future stars. Maybe for those that feel like, man, I can't pack anything during team of the year and uh, try to keep you engaged in the game with future star swaps and looking forward to this next promo. Maybe that's part of what's coming up. Uh, but watch that loading screen today, potentially for an upgrade. We will see, or a refresh, if you will. Now, speaking of refreshes, Wednesday content today is bringing back one of the most hyped 85 times three attacker, or that is the SBC, one of the most hyped 85 plus SBCs. It's refreshing today. It is the 85 three attacker. Now, it's expensive again. So, if you can get this done, this is going to be one of your last big opportunities to pack a team of the year. Make sure you get this done if you can. If you want to try to craft it with upgrade packs, go ahead and do so. But this SBC is re upping today. You need two 87s, two informs, and an 85 squad to get it done. The 83 double refreshes today. The 85 five double refreshes today. Uh, so definitely a nice amount of refresh happening in the SBC section, which of course we have to look at fodder because yesterday, just like every single day, we have a nice spike on fodder around the content drop. 85s are 15,000 coins. Yesterday, they were in the low 14s. They went up to about 16K. They didn't have crazy spikes yesterday, right? 86s as well. You guys saw me buy a couple Tiagos yesterday. I sold one at 25K, but the fodder didn't spike that much uh, to have it go up a ton today. Now, again, with this big SBC refreshing the 85 times three attacker upgrade, if you take a look at some of the completed challenges with the extra requirements that you have in here, a lot of people are going for some higher rated informs. Again, you've got some 87s in these squads. So I would definitely watch the 87 rated cards on the market today. Rudiger, 29,000 coins. These guys yesterday, I think had a pretty big spike as well from 28K all the way above to about 30. So not that big of a spike to be completely honest. But those informs today as well, lazy list them, right? If you have any of these informs that we bought last week, either whether it's Danilo at 30,000 coins, Ward Prowse, Osaman, these guys are up almost 10,000 coins a card right now. And I think they're going to keep going, especially as they went up a lot when this 85 times through attackers SBC was first released. Watch out for these guys today, probably going up even further. And it's probably a great time to start lazy listing these as well. Probably like 45, 50,000 coins. You might get some crazy lazy sales there um, on some of these 87 informs. It's probably too high for what their price will actually go to. Like realistically, hopefully they go to like 35,000 coins today. But keep an eye out for that because those will be going up. Now, speaking of Team of the Week cards, it is a Wednesday, so we would expect to see a new Team of the Week coming into the game today. Team of the Week 14, and as of right now, the, the prediction here from Footbin shows Schmeichel um, and a couple of decent cards, Luis Alberto, Lautaro, Danny Olmo, Subasly, maybe. It just depends on where they go with the featured Team of the Week cards and some of the boosts that we get. But we're, of course, hoping for not that many high-rated informs, if possible, because that would mean more supply for those maybe 86, 87, 88 rated informs that we are invested in currently to see hopefully rising for fodder. Uh, but new team of the week today, I don't think I'm expecting anything special, but uh, just keep an eye out for this. Of course, team of the week cards are really good to trade with day one. 
multiple different ways you can trade with him. Chem Styles, just the quick first hour flipping on meta cards. So watch out for that. Honestly, guys, besides one leaked SBC that we still have and those uh, packs refreshing today, it might be kind of a quiet Wednesday, right? And the last SBC that we do have is this Fofana. Seiko Fofana, official stats. He's no longer an objective. He is an SBC, right? Foot Sheriff tweeted this out yesterday um, and said this was going to be the case. These are his official stats. It's a pretty nice card, if we're being honest. Um, and it kind of reminds us of that uh, Fofana Player of the Month that we had last year that was so good and kind of put this guy on the map. But keep an eye out for this card. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. The last two days of Team of the Year, we're finally getting a Team of the Year Honorable Mentions Player SBC. We have gone this entire Team of the Year promo without having a legit Team of the Year player in an SBC fashion or even a Team of the Year Honorable Mention. So we're finally getting one. Full fun of the SBC. Watch out for that today or Tomorrow, that might affect some more midfielders. So many midfielder SBCs, Fofana, Jorginho, Pogba, Jabi Alonso. So many midfielder SBCs have been released recently on this game. Um, and I think that's affecting the market a little bit as well. But for the market in general, as we continue to look at prices, a lot of stuff just continues to either stay the same, like Harry Kane, still 320K, Alfonso Davies, still 300,000 coins. Some of these cards are up just a little bit from the team of the year honorable mentions. A lot of your team of the years, Slowly rising as well. Benzema, 2.9 mil. Mbappe, over 10. Messi, 5.7. It's just these guys continue to be not packed very much. People want to try them out, so they are buying them. The rest of the market as well continues to rise. You know, honestly, guys, just be careful out there because there are going to be cards this weekend that will be impacted by the leaks. Maybe even today we're going to get more leaks. We have our first Future Stars player leak, which I'll show you and talk about here in a second if you have not seen it. That's the reason why this Royce card is up. Actually, let's talk about it right now. Royce, 322,000 coins from 290, peaking at 338. He is up because of this. First Future Stars leak, Adiemi. As a card added to come in Future Stars promo, stats are predicted. That's a pretty cool card, right? Danny Aaron's absolutely loving it. Dortmund links, another link for the Jude Bellingham, another link for that Marco Royce, some Bundesliga love, and again, predicted stats here. What you have to really be careful with, we talked about this on stream yesterday, what you have to really be careful with with these leaks that are going to start coming out probably more today into tomorrow on Thursday is you have to be careful with the stats because we have no idea how much EA is going to juice these future stars cards. This is always a really hype promo because of the premise of the promo. But hopefully EA really juice these cards up and give them nice stats. They need to, right? Coming after Team of the Year, they have to make these cards look pretty good. So definitely keep an eye out for more leaks today on this game and how that could impact the market. And if you see leaks of cards with big nation or big club links, like maybe a PSG player, Man U, Chelsea player leaked, watch out for those special cards on the game. Like you saw with Royce today, a lot of people are looking to make coins on this market right now since they have a lot of coins. And I would say if you find a player, if you see a leak, like Foot Sheriff tweets something out, buy that player like right as the leak is um, leaked out, like is posted, a player that links to that new SBC um, item or impacts future stars item, whatever link it is to the leak, buy it up fast and sell it fast, right? You could have bought this Royce probably at like two, 290 if you were on right at the right time, sold it for 340,000 coins, and now he's back down a little bit, right? At 320. So just be careful with that kind of stuff. It's risky trading with the leaks, but it is very profitable, right? We looked at the Gabriel Jesus. He went up a ton. So just keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. I do imagine we will see more future stars leaks and probably more prices staying pretty high on this game today. Quick flips are working though, guys. If you're trying to trade, like I bought this Cristiano Ronaldo at 549, sold it at 599. Uh, these canes, of course, I bought at 290. He's back up to about 330,000 coins almost at the moment. Um, so there are opportunities to trade on this market, whether it's icons, whether it's heroes, or whether it's out of pack special cards, there are cards that are fluctuating every single day that you can take advantage of and make coins off of. So I would highly recommend if you're trying to make coins after a team of the year, you feel like, man, I spent too many coins on upgrade packs. Right now is really a great time to be monitoring flipping, watching prices, and flipping cards, especially that fluctuation trading method that we talk a lot about um, in the streams, on the channel, and everything like that. So watch out for that today. And then a couple more things, guys, we have some really, really good news 
from EA Sports yesterday with this next title update, which is available on PC. If you guys have not seen this, if you're playing on PC, you probably know if you've downloaded the update. But EA fixed one of the biggest things that we were hoping to see fixed in this game. They fixed the transfer market search glitch that resets every time you search. When you back out, it resets no longer. I have confirmation from guys that play on PC that it is fixed. And with this next update coming to console, most likely Thursday of this week, um, I bet EA would even do maintenance today on Wednesday. So if you're trying to grind your rivals wins before the season ends, be very, very diligent about getting those games done as soon as possible because... If they do maintenance tonight, right before this, the season ends, uh, that could you know put the game in some downtime for a couple hours, and uh, that happens almost every single time we go into a new season. So just watch out for that. But that's huge, right? They're fixing the live search results so that the market filter will not reset. So GG's EA for that. And then yesterday, of course, they compensated the Courtois issue. So if you packed a base version of Courtois, and we saw this impact. Uh, the market directly yesterday. If we take a look at Courtois' price, you can tell exactly the moment when that tweet was put out because you see the prices drop. Courtois was 370k, went all the way down to 320 as people who got his card as a gold version tradable when his team of the year was supposed to be in packs and the gold was mistakenly in. Instead, uh, got that card, went out, listed it up, took their coins, and now the price is rebounding back up to about 340 probably 350. So if you were able to buy any Courtois in the low 300k range, GG's, that card is starting to just trickle back up in price. We'll probably keep going. Team of the Year goalkeeper with the Madrid links this year, everything else going on with the Madrid players and Team of the Year, there is definitely hype there. So GG's, if you traded with that, or if you got a free Courtois yesterday, you're absolutely loving that as well. So I'm going to continue to craft. I'm going to continue to try to pack Team of the Years. I have not got one again, as I said, but I'm not stopping. We're going to keep going. I'm going to keep buying non-rares. I think the best way to be opening packs right now, the best way to get Team of the Years is honestly through these 78 plus packs because you can get Team of the Year icons from them, Team of the Years from any league. I really wish I would have saved more of the 81 plus doubles and I wish that the 81 plus double would have returned because that would have been such a great SBC to get team of the years from i think those were really slept on in the first part of the week um and i'm i'm kind of regretting not doing too many of those but the league upgrade packs i'm probably going to go away from spamming the premium league SBCs for la liga and prem because i have opened hundreds of those guys and they have been abysmal so i'm going to stick with these 78 pluses i'll open one here on the video to end things off pack eight a 78 plus times three we get nothing. Great. So I'm going to do more of these today and try to hit the jackpot once again on this game. We have two more days to pack a team of the year. We're going to try our best to get it done. If you guys enjoyed the video today and if you have any questions, of course, drop them down below in the comments. But if you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate Foot Account. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.